dear viewers welcome today i want to show you how you can obtain ultimate axial loads and ultimate bending moments from out this robust structure so you can see this is a report of a real life project that we did last year this is a project that i've done last year so um i want to show you how you can obtain this bending moment for the beams and ultimate axial load. So the first thing you need to do, I will open Autodesk Robust Structural Analysis. So this is a project that was done last year. It was approved. It was uh, uh, built. So it's a real life project. And uh, I'm, I'm working, but also I do a, a lot of research. So that I can ensure that I give uh, uh, good and genuine content, which is going to be uh, helpful to my viewers. So I will open one model. I will open. Uh, I will open this one. Uh, okay. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you're done your analysis because without analysis results you cannot obtain this and if analysis did not complete you see you are trying to do you to obtain this as you load but you are not seeing them it's because your analysis is not complete so you need to redo your analysis so i do my analysis i have a lift core so if i find error due to the uh, core wall i will just assume okay that error is because of the uh, shear wall. All right, so I have two, I have two, no errors, two warnings, so that's no problem. So we will start, we will start by obtaining views. Uh, should we start with ultimate um, axial load, All right? So I will start with ultimate axial load. The first thing I need to do is to select my column. I need to select all the columns. So if I can be able to select all of them by bar type, so all my columns have been selected. So I will, you can see this icon here, edit in a new window. So I want to separate this column from the rest of the structure. So to separate, do click on new window here. So I have been able to separate my columns. So the next thing I will just do to separate the story, I can just click this icon here, filter structure story. So I will filter my story. So I have filter my story. So now we have been able to obtain, we have been able to obtain uh, these uh, filtered columns only. So now the next thing I need to do is to go here to results, diagrams, So if it uh, shows everything, no problem. So we need to make sure we won't check our FX, not FZ. So we can check none, apply. Then we go. So I can just click. If you don't see this one, you just need to click to expand this view. Then I want to show, see the 3D. Okay, that's my 3D. So I will go to reactions check none and then apply all right i want to go to default so that we can be at the same level this one i check like that then apply so we are now on this window and uh, let me do rotate right click rotate 3d so we will first go to reactions I want uh, FZ, that is reaction acting in the direction of gravity, as you can see from this axis here. Then I will apply. So you can see my reactions. Then I will go to NTM, the first one here, by clicking the NTM. Then I'll check FX and I'll check MY. Then I will apply. 
Then I can do here the parameters. Check labels, differentiate, fill, apply. So um global exchange uh control scale apply. Alright, so after we've done those, we can now go back to the normal window. Let's first view the whole structure. Uh, and and edit so you can end and edit. So I will go to um the normal view by going to geometry. So we want to see the download. Let's first go to uh, results. Result as a load diagram. And we'll expand this one. So I want parameters, labels, differentiate, fill, apply. Then I'll go to reactions, FZ, average, integrated, apply. Then I'll go to NTM, FZ, and MY, apply. Then I will close. Then I will go to the normal window, that is geometry. I hope I can still see my reaction. So we won't select only, we won't obtain this diagram. All right? This one, the way it is. So I just come here, right click, select. I will pick one of my columns, holy it, select, and then by bar type, because column is different, then open in a new window. So, you can see here, my uh, ultimate axial load. So, um, the only thing I need to do here is to change, to remove, these diagrams, okay. I need to uh, remove um, these diagrams. So you can see I have uh, So the next thing we need to do is to obtain uh, this ultimate bending moment. So I think this diagram we can just go and do and uh, and check uh, there in, in the settings. So let's go to let's view the whole structure. So exit, just click here, exit again. Okay, so I will just need to right click, select. I will select one B. Right click, select by cross section or by bar type, and then open a new window. So you can see, here is our uh bending moment we have been able to obtain the bending moment diagram so here we can just um check this one section shapes so that it will appear exactly then you can just click here then this one, you can just uh, save, you can just take a screenshot, screen capture or uh, capture your screen on your computer. Just come here. 
you can either you can use screen screen snip to capture this screenshot. So we have obtained this diagram and we obtain this Azure load. Then that will be it for this video. If you like my videos, consider subscribe. I will see you in another video. Thank you.